Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. Now the news in detail. The country's top anti-terror agency NIA has strongly refuted allegation of assaulting residents in West Bengal, Bhupati Nagar, where its team had gone as part of its searches into a blast case that killed three people in December 2022. The National Investigation Agency, in a statement, said and its team came under violent attack by an unruly mob when they had gone to conduct searches in Narau Bila village. The attack was completely unprovoked and uncalled for and an attempt to obstruct NIA from carrying out its lawful duties, the NIA had said. It said the searches were conducted at five locations in presence of the independent witnesses and under the security cover provided by the Central Reserve Police Force, which included women constable. The NIA had eventually arrested two key conspirators in connection with the bomb blast case in East Midnapur district. They were arrested following all law poll procedures, the NIA have said. The attack on the NIA team while they were arresting Balai Charan Maiti and Manobrata Jana was aimed at stopping the team from reaching the Bhupati Nagar police station to complete the arrest formalities. West Bengal Chief Minister and Trinamool Congress President Mamta Banerjee alleged that NIA was working for the BJP. Why did they raid at midnight? Did they have police permission? Locals reacted in the way they would have if any other stranger had visited the place at midnight. Why are they arresting people right before the election? What does the BJP think? That they will arrest every booth agent? What does right NIA have? They are doing all this to support the BJP. We call upon the entire world to fight against the BJP dirty politics, Ms. Banerjee had said. The Bengal Chief Minister accused NIA personnel of assaulting residents in Bhupati Nagar rather than the villagers initiating the attack. The NIA in its statement alluding to Ms. Banerjee allegations said an aggressive crowd had assaulted the NIA personnel who were taking the accused to the police station. One NIA officer was injured and an official vehicle was damaged in the attack. The NIA had filed a police complaint seeking legal action on the assailant, the anti-terror agency said. That's the end of the story. If you like the content of our video, please do hit the subscribe button, share it with your families and friends, and do not forget to post a suggestion in the comment section below. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.